Hello, Adam here. Very glad you're with me again. If you're liking these videos that we're putting out, do me a favor. Hit the like, subscribe. It would mean an awful lot to us. All right, today I've got a nice little mountain painting. I really think you're going to enjoy this, and I really think you're going to be able to do it. So let's just get to it. All right, I'll start with the two-inch brush and go right into some phthalo blue. All right, just get a good amount there on the bristles. Same brush I used to put in the liquid white. This canvas has already got a coat of liquid white on it. And it is a 16 by 20 canvas. The same canvas that I typically use most of the time. I like it because it's very affordable. Easy for anyone to go out and just buy a bunch of them at about any art store near you. All right, I just take this this phthalo blue and just kind of work it all the way down to at least the mid of the canvas, okay? And for this, I just want to go back over it pretty good, get most of the color blended completely. Okay, take a look at that corner, make sure it's blended good, and just kind of go over it. If there's a few streaks in this, it'll, it'll be okay, because I'm going to put some streak clouds in it in just a second anyways okay all right just about like that i'll come over and grab my fan brush that's a number six fan brush and let's just get right into some titanium white all right and we're just gonna begin just to streak some clouds in like this all right the focus today is not really going to be clouds but it's nice to have a few different ones in the background and it's nice to know how to make different clouds sometimes clouds are kind of big and poofy and sometimes they just kind of streak in I just wipe it off a little bit on my paper towel I've always got paper towels right here and reload and we'll put in a few more there we go and you can just kind of look at it and put them in however you really feel like they should be you don't have to put clouds in at all if you don't want to with this painting. Or you could even put in a different type of cloud. Completely and totally up to you. I'll go back to a dry brush now and just go over that. Just pull across. Not entirely worried about it that much. Good. I'll grab my palette knife and mix up a little mountain color for that. I'm just going to get some black. And some white. Just black and white today. Just making a soft little mountain in the background. Okay. And let's come right up in here. Right about here. All right. And all you got to do is just make a couple peaks. And you can do that however you want to. All right. The key is uh, once you get your peaks the way you want, To go back and scrape some of that paint out of there scrape it out you don't want to have too much but it is nice to have some in there especially around the tops to define the top of it all right we'll scrape some of this out and leave that about like that go back to that two inch brush i'll use the two inch brush that i use to kind of blend the clouds and just Blend out the bottom. Okay. I can wipe that off on a paper towel. And soften it a little more. Just trying to get the base nice and soft for whenever we, you know, put some trees in there, or some rolling hills, or whatever we're going to do. Just starting to simulate where that misty bottom of the mountain is going to be. I'll go back to my large palette knife and Pull out a little titanium white, go across. Just get a little bit on the edge of your knife. And let's come right up in here. I'm very much holding this with a very gentle, gentle touch. Okay, gentle touch. I'm okay with it being a little thicker right at the top. 
a lot of mountain pictures that I look at are kind of kind of that way. Okay, but once we get down into here, a little bit of braking action is a little bit better. And you might have to go over it a couple times. I've got a new tube of paint here, which sometimes can have a little different consistency. That's okay. Just, just play with it and work with it. You'll figure it out. The main thing for me with mountains is don't stress out. If it doesn't get the exact break that you've seen other people do, don't worry about it. Just work your mountains. I think you're going to find that more often than not, they end up looking pretty good. They don't have to be exactly like you've seen other people do them. All right? Develop your own. Develop your own. They're going to look pretty good. And we'll come to this peak right here. Okay. That looks pretty good, don't it? All right, let's start working in some shadow color. And for that, I'll just get a little of this blue. And we'll put it right in there. Right in there where I had that white already pulled out. That's pretty bright, so I'll take a little black and add it to that. And mix it up. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Right in here, same thing. Just touch gently. And pull down. That's all you got to do. There we go. I like that. It's a nice, nice dark shadow color. That's, that's what I was looking for. And in here. You know, you could grab that little knife that might that might help in some of these tight spots. Sometimes I just kind of let it develop. I don't get too worried about it. Let it develop. Okay, I'll go back to that two inch brush and tap the base of these some. Just to start getting some mist in there. You could actually touch a little titanium white and let that help the process out. See that? All right, kind of following the angles of the mountain a little bit there. And I will grab my mop brush and just twirl. Don't worry about that right there. Don't worry about that when that happens. Not a big deal. There'll be some stuff covering that up, and you can also go back and fix that. Not a problem. Okay? You just take, take a, any old clean brush and just kind of scrape that away a little bit. See that? Not a problem. Go back to my large knife and just in little spots that I don't like, I'll just come back and hit it. You know, a little, little bit too much blue right there showing through compared to the rest of it. Maybe I'll take a little bit, a little bit of this color and go back into some of these areas right here. Make those stand out a little. Okay. Just fade it down into that mist. I could redo the mist or whatever. Whatever I wanted to do. But you can take your time and get that mountain exactly the way you want it. I'll go back to a large two inch brush. It can be a brush that had some color on it. And I'll just go back into that kind of mountain mixed color. I tap just a little green, not too much. This is gonna be in the distance, just a little. And we'll come over here and put in a few little rolling hills back here. Okay. I'm just tapping pretty quick, really. I'm not too worried about it because what I know is I'm going to go back and just lift it up a little bit at the tops, just a little. Hopefully you can see that All right, right at the tops. Just pull up just a little just to get them to just kind of simulate a forest there in the distance. You can kind of see some treetops poking up way back there. 
All right, now we'll come back down here and miss the bottom out a little. And all you got to do is tap it. Just tap and the liquid white that is underneath begins to come through and make it look lighter, resembling mist. That's all there is to it. I'll stick with that two inch brush and come up and go right into some sap green, a little yellow ochre. And look, this is, this is easy. All you got to do is just take your brush, just draw this in. We're, we're beginning to put in some closer land features here. Just draw it in. No big deal. Okay. For me, you do not have to try to tap in grass at this point. That's that's a long way away. Yeah, I'll take a smaller fan brush and get some black, a little bit of green, mostly black. And let's put in a couple, a couple little trees right here. Yeah, right about there. Just small ones in the background. All you do is just push. A couple times, just push and then bring it down. Push and bring it down. We'll do one more little bitty one. Same thing, just push, bring it down. Don't worry about these too much. And I'll take and drag out some shadows of this thing, make it look like it's you know, got a little grass coming out. You can kind of stick it up just like this. It's little bushes and grass right there on that plane. All right, bring the shadow out some. Go back to the two inch brush and we'll get some more of that green. Put some yellow ochre in it, a little yellow, changing the color. And let's put another little plane right in here. All right, see the, the colors change now. Makes it look like another little plane right there. And we'll go back to our fan brush, put in a couple more trees. We'll, we'll make these a little more green. Still pretty dark. Loading the fan brush pretty full, and we'll put another group of trees right here. And again, just draw a little line for reference. And push the corner straight in a couple times. And bring down your tree. Same process, just barely touch it right there. Touch it again. Bring down a little tree. Right. I just kind of fake a couple in right there. No big deal. And see, it doesn't have to be a whole lot of detail just yet. Not just yet. We'll pull out the shadows again. All right, pull out a little shadow right there. Take this and just pop up some grass right there on the edge of it. Might be a little bit over there too. Some bushes right in front. Just some dark looking stuff. Too far away to really tell what's going on. Let's grab our two inch brush again. Same sort of thing. I'm just going to go right into some yellow here. I'm going to see what that looks like. How much is that going to change the color? Put some more right here. A 
Just getting a little color in there. That's all. And we'll do some things to make it look a little more grassy here in a little bit. All right, but right now, just, just some color. Just building the planes, bringing planes closer and closer to you. That's all. I like the variation of different colors in there. Greens and yellows and stuff like that. And as I do this, I just kind of look and imagine. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's not until I get to doing this that I see something that I want to try. And what I see right here, I think it's becoming obvious. There, there's a little path right there. I'm going to take that dirty brush that I use to lay in the clouds. And that blue and white will just kind of blend right in. No big deal there. I'll get me some brown. Okay. And let's just go ahead and make this official. We'll put a little path coming in right here. All the way back into there. There we go. I just got to bring it back and forth. Bring it back and forth. That's all. Bring it way over this way. Not good. And you can make this just as wide as you want to in the front. The wider you make it, the more it'll look like it's coming right out at you, really. Okay. And I'll just kind of blend it in a little. We're going we're gonna to work at it some more. But you see, even as I just do this, just gently, it kind of blends into the whole scene. Make it a little darker. And just blend it. Blend it into the scene. We're going to go back with some grass and some other features and really make it look good. So we're not done. But you can kind of see that, that little path, that trail developing right there on the canvas. All right, I'll make some bigger evergreen trees now and I'm just going to take that same old brush I was just using for the trail get some black and a good amount of green still keeping these trees pretty dark and let's just put a tree right in here right in there all right make a little reference line and just touch you can touch this very, really slow at first doesn't really matter Right? Look how slow I'm going. No big deal. Then once you kind of got it going the way you like, bring it on down. All right. Tried to leave a little gap right there. Just helps to give it some depth, I think. And about to there somewhere. Come to the other side and Let's put one over here as well. Let's see. How about right here? Pretty good sized tree, huh? And right here, just tap the corner in. A couple times till you like it. I promise you, you go out in nature, you're going to find all kind of different trees. And I am a guy who's been in nature all over the world. All over the world. 25 years in the Army traveling in all kind of different places. All right, let's go all the way down yeah, somewhere in there, right? Right in there. And let's do this. Let's take this tree and give it a little line right here. Look at that. It just kind of pushed all that back. Pushed all that back. Make another little plane right here with some weeds and stuff popping up. We'll put those bushes about right there, right? Little bushes in front of this thing. Pull some shadows out. That looks really good. A different variation of color right there. It's really good to me. Blend that in a little bit. All you gotta do is do just like that. It pops up these little weed looking things. Ain't that neat? 
do the same over here coming off that hill you can help them out and pull them up a little bit if you want to and just pull out the bottom put in a couple of bushes pull out the bottom that's all you got to do that looks really good you can go to a liner brush and just get that right into some dark dark color don't really matter too much okay put some sticks in here things growing up and right here you could even have a decent little tree coming out sticking up see that little detail to make the painting interesting that's what that is take your time and work on many branches many different branches Okay. Well, there's a couple sticks over here. All right, just as much as you want there. And let's go back to our large two inch brush. Let's get some more yellow. Brighten this grass up even more. And let's just put this in right here. Right in here. Now put a little green in this side and put that in right there. That look good. All these different color tones, that's a very natural thing in nature when weeds are growing up. Put in a little more dark right there. Okay. All right. And now you can come through and tap it like this and give it a little texture. That's all you got to do. A little bit of texture, not too much. I don't like to overdo it, honestly. Just a little bit of texture there. And the more you hit that, the softer that becomes. All right. Same thing over here, just a little. And maybe you're not even seeing that too much, but it's just putting a little bit of a grass texture on it. Blending that trail into the painting a little bit. Doesn't need too much. Doesn't need too much at all. Just a little. I'm going to dip that into a little bit of liquid white. Let's put some good bright spots out here. Maybe the sun's coming in and just touching that really good right there. All right, changing the color just a little. Putting a little bit of texture in there. Right in here. And again, the more you hit it, the softer it'll become and kind of blend into the paint. Put a little bit here on this hill. Not too much, just a little. Hey, 
And I'll go back to that smaller fan brush and kind of fade this in some. All I'm doing is tapping it. Just tapping it. Kind of fading all that into the scene. Bringing some of that darker color back down into it. Blending it in. That's all. That's all that's happening there. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of a tap. Bring the color into it. Blend it into the sea. Good. And because I messed up my little branch on that little tree, I'll go back and put them in there. See that? You just go back and put them right back in. No problem at all. All right, I'll take that fan brush again. I'll stick with it. And I'm going to come up here and get a little bit of white. A little bit of that yellow, a little green in there, and probably some liquid white to thin that down. Get a nice bright highlight color. And put a couple highlights on these trees. Okay. All right, good. Just the big trees. Just the big trees. Just tap them gently, especially up towards the top. And just bring it down, brighten up the branches. Okay, and I'll grab a filbert brush here. Let's get into some brown, a little black, a dark color. And how about right in here, we put a pretty good size tree right there. I'll set that down, go back to my liner brush. Just using the same colors now, just using the same colors and just kind of, kind of imagine how the branches might go on this tree. Just keep putting them in thinner and thinner to the top. That's all there really is to it. All right. We'll come up and put a few leaves on here, here in a little bit, but just kind of imagine. You know, go out and take a look at some trees if you need to. See what they look like, see what the branches do. But in general, just let them, let them kind of fork from the branch that it's coming from and ensure that it gets thinner and thinner and thinner to the top. That's all you really got to do for trees. Let some branches Curve around. Okay. Bring this down at the base a little bit. All right. We'll work on that here in a moment. I'm going to grab an oval brush. Come right into some dark color. Doesn't need to be too thick. And at the top. Put in our branches right there where the ends of these branches are put in our leaves i mean okay good put in one or two right there and that should be good i'll wipe that out just a little get into some green a little yellow and get a little bit of that liquid white on there get a nice bright color green A little more liquid white. There we go. Nice bright color green. And let's go back up here. And just touch gently. That's all. Almost just going over what I just did. I'll leave some of the dark showing through. But in the same general areas and the same general patterns. That's all we're doing there.
Doesn't have to take too long. Okay. And maybe coming from this side over here, maybe the sun's coming in. Put a couple bright spots right in there. Somehow one zinged in right there. I'll take another little liner brush, get a little liquid white. All right, let's put it into that brown color. And we'll just kind of put a little highlight on this tree right in there. Comes up on this side a little bit, not a lot. No big deal, just a little bit of highlight color. Okay. I'll give you a little offshoot right there. Why not? All right, we'll take our little brush right here. And all I'm going to do is turn it over and just pop in some color. Really, I got some flowers coming in there. That neat. Pull that down. Put a little texture in it. A little knoll right there. Take my brush that had a little bit of paint in it. Pull up a stick or two, piece of grass, what have you. And you don't need too much right there. Just a little bit, just to, really just to kind of cover that tree. And I'll come over here with a little bit of color as well and just put a little bit more variant right in there. Just to change the colors. Bring it in. Changing the colors right there in that corner. That's all. Make it look like a little hill or something right there. And one more time, I'll grab a clean fan brush, get into just a little bit of liquid white. Let's just put a little bit of a little bit of highlight on this path. Just a little bit. Okay. Maybe a little bit more back in here. wipe out that brush and just just blend over that just to put a little shine on it all right blend that in just a little right there that little hair off there all right And I'll take my two inch brush and get it right into some liquid white. And I'm just going to tap the palette just a little. And then right in here, we'll say the sun's coming and hitting right there too. Right there on this little hill. Okay. And we'll just let that fade all the way down into the corner. And I'll take the black liner brush. And we'll just get that point just as thin as we can get it right here. And let's do this. This is neat. Let's just put a couple birds right here. And all you got to do... Make a line, and in some other way, make another line. Do another one right here. Line, another line. And that's pretty much it to making birds. But it adds a little something to the painting. Looks pretty neat. And one more thing, I'll grab a, another liner brush and just come right into a little bit of bright red and I'll just put my initials in right in here. And that's that's what I use to sign, just initials. Some people like their whole last name or 
or whatever they like, but me, A, L. And we'll call this one complete. I really hope you enjoyed this painting. I hope you learned a couple techniques that you can put in your toolkit and you can give this a try yourself. Until next time, remember, if I can paint, you can too. See you next time.